Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 19. We pick it up from turn 125 in the autumn season of 207. So, as I mentioned at the end of last episode, uh, we're going to be doing a personnel shuffling for our administrators. Uh, we have seven of them, thanks to our uh, Unity uh, resource, so we get extra ones. And uh, we have been, you know, kind of just shuffling whoever was best at the time into these positions. And uh, I gone through all of them and I picked out seven different generals who uh, could do better uh, in certain positions. So we're actually going to be doing quite a bit of a shuffle. And by uh, shuffle, we mean we're going to be actually removing a lot of them from uh, the positions for one turn and then putting them into a new commandery the next. And the criteria I went with is pretty much... Uh, depended on what trait they had. Uh, I didn't really care about what skills they had, because eventually they'll pick up the skills as long as they are the character from that class. Uh, Sentinels will always pick up these two as administrators, but we really can't change what trait they have. So for example, she has 5% income from all sources, making her a great character uh, in our industry and commerce commanderies. Uh, so we're going to put her into a place where she can shine the most. And uh, she's currently in Laosi, and we're going to move her around a little bit. Now, Laosi has uh, currently our highest income put, uh, potential, and um, she can actually, well, actually, she can stay here. Um, there's a couple that's kind of ambivalent. It uh, doesn't really matter because there's certain key uh, commanderies that I want to focus on. For example, Beihai and Longya are two key commanders we're focusing on. These are two key tall building commanders where we're going to focus entirely on their peasantry potential going forward. So they're going to require champion uh, characters to be the administrator. Currently, Guan Yu is here. Uh, we're going to dismiss him and pick someone else in his uh, stead because Guan Yu, although he has great resolve stat, which would definitely boost population, he actually doesn't come with any useful trait for the position. So we're going to remove him from this position. We'll make him a little bit sad for a turn. And in his place here in Longya, we're actually going to appoint uh, Xiao Bao, who is currently on assignment. Uh, he's a farmer character. Uh, we have him in Pengcheng. Uh, we're going to use him for one turn, and he's going to be ready to take over next turn. Uh, the reason why we picked him is because, one, he's pretty sad right now because he desires higher court position and another reason is because he comes with a very nice pacifist ability here so five percent from all sources uh, that 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 alone is going to win him the job because uh, we look through all our champions and that's the best income boosting one we had and he also gets 20 percent from his skill which he already picked up and we're going to work his way to getting more food production there and we're going to deck him out with high resolve uh, weapons uh, some of these are on characters who they don't need to be on. For example, he doesn't need to have this. He doesn't even need to have that. Uh, he's just sitting here as a court character. We need him to have the best resolve weapon possible. Because um, even though expertise is great uh, for cost reduction, uh, getting more population is what his job is, basically. To counteract potential uh, pop negative public order population. Uh, we don't need him... Uh, let's see, do we? I don't think we have any champion armor in our inventory. We don't. So we're actually going to use this one. Uh, they increase resolve the same, but this one's minus 12 expertise. Just hurt it a little bit less. It's not going to change our resolve stat at all. Uh, we really don't have a horse that we can give him. I guess we can give him Zhang Fei's horse. It's a little sacrifice. 7k it's not changing much we'll see if we can up his stat up a little bit more um, he doesn't need industry boost food production long Yai is actually going to sell food in the future so we don't need that we need this we need the 10 percent extra peasantry and then we're going to complete his build either with more resolve or with more expertise depending on which version we want to use um Right now we're not getting any cost reduction, which is actually fine because Long Yas mostly completed in terms of build. So we might be looking for just something that provides six points of uh, resolve. I don't think we have an item like that. Yeah, we don't have uh, Weights, which is actually a book that provides six. Hmm. I guess he gets the dog then. 
it doesn't push us to 8k, which is kind of sad. But maybe in the future, when we get this skill, uh, it will help him out. So he will be our next uh, administrator here uh, in Langya. I don't think we can select him this turn because come he got come back from the assignment first, so he's not available to be picked. Uh, he'll be available next turn. Uh, the only negative he gets is my uh, plus one musting turn, but as you can see, we get 35% from peasantry basically, and this is going to be a very peasantry focused. Uh, commandery. We're going to swap these once we get the reform. We're lucky to have them as it is because we captured them at this level, but we don't actually have the reform for them. Um, eventually we'll get there. It's a long-term long project. So he's going here uh, in Beihai. Uh, we don't need to swap him because we handpicked him because he was working here before and we just made him stay here. And he's actually perfect for this commandery. Uh, he'll be better served if we also get another 10% peasantry boost. But right now, food production isn't half bad because we don't have the uh, reforms for the uh, later stages of the selling food. And we don't actually have enough food to actually sell right now. So this will serve us greatly because it has a livestock farm. So there's actually multiple layers of food you're boosting here. Um, likewise, we're probably going to just equip him with much, as much resolve as we can. And uh, he's got an expertise, which is fine because uh, we don't have any plus six resolve. And we also could use his 6% construction because there's still plenty to be built. Speaking of buildings, we want to build this. Uh, the next part is the big shuffle. Um, a lot of these guys will be fired from the positions. So Zhang Liao is not going to be an administrator going forward. He has super high resolve, but he doesn't have any good traits. And most of our um, commerce and industry commanderies have been fully built given how much reform we have. So we don't need him from this position. Um, so he's going to come off his duty. Mifang is great, but he's in the wrong commandery. So Mifang is probably one of our better uh, administrators because he had Bruent. And Bruent uh, gives you plus 10% uh, to all income sources. We're going to put him in Dong. Uh, right now he's somewhere else in the north. So we're going to remove him for one turn and pop him to a different commandery next turn. Uh, Zhang Zhao also has no bonuses, so we're actually going to remove him as well. And Zhang Yan's wife, who was a spy before, uh, we're going to be popping her out as well. We're going to be using uh, mainly Sentinels uh, going forward. There's only one strategist I picked out uh, from the group, so we're going to remove her from office as well. So big shuffle here. Now the people who are replacing them, uh, we can actually start picking them out. So Dong is waiting for Mifang to come back. Uh, Liao Xi I picked out, so Liao Xi here, all the way here, currently our capital, uh, but in the future we're going to move this, hopefully, has the highest amount of uh, industry income that we have in the game for us, because we have a level 5 toolmaker. Uh, right now, it's Guan Yu's wife who's hosting uh, this place. Uh, she has 5% to all income source. I actually want to move her. Um... But we don't, uh, mm, hold on, we don't actually have to move her yet. Because she actually, so the dilemma here is this. We want to give her a job because she has 5% from all sources and she has the two skills. But Qian Cong here, uh, uh, but Chong, Chong Qian, Chong Qian, yeah, his name is really weird, um, has 10% to all income, but he doesn't have the traits yet. So he's not going to do as well right away, but eventually he'll do better. So maybe we'll put him actually in Pingyuan right now. Yeah, a lot of people are mad at us. We'll fix that. Uh, we're going to put him here. And let him work his level up. And if we get anyone better in the future, we can uh, replace him, obviously. And let's see, who else do we want? We want... Yeah. Let's see, where is she? Yes, we got angry people. We'll fix that. We want her, uh, who also have, I believe, there's a 10% to commerce. We're going to move her to Yubeiping because there's a trade port there. And we're also trying to build this up a bit more. So, uh, let's see, Taishan, Yubeiping. Yeah, there she is. And there's going to be a discount as this uh, commander is building up, uh, which we'll do right away. 
And lastly, but not least, we have a strategist here who is currently on assignment that we have to cancel. It's her. We're going to eventually put her in Taishan where she's doing the assignment right now, just because she has 5% to all sources and also 10% to commerce and Taishan has a trade port as well. So that's the strategy going forward. Now let's take care of these unhappy generals because we just fired them. So they need for us to soothe them over. Uh, he's just high level. Um, basically the minus 20 removal from office need to work itself out. He's currently at zero level in terms of uh, his rank, so we can just give him a couple of ranks. Uh, I think one is fine. He won't actually might as well give him two. He's level six. He deserves it, and yeah, we can definitely afford it just to keep him in the you know 28 range. He's never going to get his administrator job back, so it will bounce back to about uh, 48, and that's fine. Who else is angry at us? There was someone else who can't stand the idea of being fired. Zhang Liao, uh, so his problem is also because he's stuck at level 1 and uh, we need to fix this as well. Uh, pretty easy, just give him two ranks as well. He deserves it too. So we fired them from administrator but we made up for it elsewhere. Alright, we're gonna fill out these positions next turn. Our income definitely taking a big hit but in the long run I think this is the correct move. Uh, elsewhere, we have the situation where Dong Li's army is coming towards us. Uh, we're going to set up a trap outside. We want to fight an open field with our crossboats. So we're going to just come out right here in the forest in front of us. Go to ambush. Their bait. Should work perfectly. Um, we also need to shuffle items next turn as we put in new administrators. Uh, because they definitely need to be switched up. We did the two um, champions. We didn't really touch on him. Wow, he doesn't deserve the gold armor. Who has the silver one? Mi Feng is the plus three. She has the plus nine. So that's that's good because she's going to be administrator. Mi Feng is also going to be administrator. In Dong, so Mi Feng should get... He's also on the battlefield. So he's going to get our gold one. And... Chong Qian is going to get... The plus three, I guess. You can't really get anything else. Uh, how many of these sword do we have? All right, we need to get it out of her hand. Also need to get this out of her hand. We're going to keep her forever because uh, she's going to give us all of Zhang Yan's kids. I assume it's going to stay in our faction because she's in our faction. Because we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been getting all the notifications. So it should be ours. Alright, you get expertise here. You should also pick up... Wait, I thought I equipped it that. Yeah, I did. Um, where are the... Yeah, we were looking for these. Zhang Liao. Zhang Liao has one that he doesn't need anymore. I'm gonna take that off his hand. We can even take this off his hand too in the future, but maybe not this turn. Uh, there we go. Alright, uh, he's all set. She's all set. Uh, Liao Xi Ping Yuan, both industry commanders, so the items are not going to waste. And we have him set up to take over next turn. She's going to take over as well. Let's see if we can find another expertise item. So Zhang Liao can give it to her. So we could do that shuffle right now. Don't worry. Zhang Liao will get something good. Hmm. I promise we'll find him something. Yeah, maybe that. Because she's going to be administrator. There we go. Perfect, and right, she's going to be administrator in Yu Bei Ping, so she's going to pick up this. Yeah, it's plus three either way, but she might as well look pretty well on the job. And we don't have any more, so it doesn't matter what she has. 
we were going to give her this because she was going to take over in Taishan, but Taishan isn't building much, so I guess she doesn't need anything. And we're just going to give her a bit more of this. She will get a bit more of this. Alright, I think we're done with our administrative portion of the game. We set up a trap. We can get our buildings built. Over here is just a constant battle between public order and... Hmm, we don't need that much public order. We can just go this route. I think we lose out on two public order at the end. All right. So we're just going to go this route here. It's cheaper. And that commander is still all about income here. These are good. This one needs a lot of build up, but we can't get administrator in until next turn. But too bad. We're still going to build that first. It would just take one turn. Same idea here. Although we're never going to put administrator here. All right, we're good. Uh, we got all the buildings done. We're waiting for Dong Zhuo's army or don't. I mean, it, I, I don't think don't is Dong Zhuo still alive. I think it's Dong Mit. Right. Yeah. If Dong Zhuo's alive, he'll never let this happen. We'll take care of that. This army is replenishing. Hopefully, Yuan Shu will take that and start getting mad at us after our dear, uh, deal expires and he'll declare war and we can have plenty of army to fight. And hopefully, Cao Cao is stupid enough to send more ships or else we're just on defense for nothing. Uh, we also have to reset the assignment characters next turn as we recalled a lot of them. And we can actually fire some of our characters because I think we're keeping a little bit too many at court right now. And that's it. Let's continue. All right, our ambush worked. And the whole point of this ambush is not to fight them. So we're going to just... Yeah, we're just going to delegate this one right here. Sun Ren's first battle at level 1. She needs to pick up Heartseeker first before we can have some real fun with her. She leveled up. Great. All right. The alliance of... Okay, so this is Liu Chong's old faction and Yuan Shu's old faction. Uh, Yuan Shao, Yuan Shu, uh, he's still alive, not old faction yet. Declare war on the yellow turbans again. Alliance war. Kong Rong joined Lu Zhi. Interesting. So he abandoned this coal, this alliance. So maybe we can make a move against Yuan Shao and uh, Zhang Yan. All right, we got our administrative office, so we can actually invoke faction on all five. Uh, fishing. That's a weird sentence, but I'm guessing fishing port upgrade. Administration office again. Okay. Forge alliance with the following. That's not happening, Lu Fan. Lu Fan. Fan, 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 Lu Fan. Yeah, I keep making that mistake. Got too used to saying the second tone. It should be the fourth tone. All right, raise the force. All right, we got a few level up here. Right, he's working towards becoming a great administrator for us, so we're going to start working our way there. And she's going to be a great general one day. Almost picked up Reach. Zhao Yun, we freed him up from any potential. Uh, we, we considered him because he has plus uh, two public water here and plus two public water here. But that's the only thing he provided, and I didn't want him to pick up any of these traits. So we're just going to go up here. And actually get some more useful uh, skills here. Another military expert. That could go into this army. The army without any uh, strategists. This gives us a turtle. So this is pretty essential on Guan Yu. Alright, we got five missions. We're not going to be able to finish all five. Some of them just we're not going to do. Don't hide, we're never going to put administrator, so we're just going to upgrade. Peng Cheng can actually start doing food one turn. And then we're going to put our other farmer, this guy right here, in. Because it's all green buildings going forward. Bo Hai. Bo Hai, it's pretty much good. Mm, we're going to downsize this commander in the future and make it produce food for us. Right. This is another decision I made. I think in Dong Lai, uh, we're actually going to downsize. We're going to demolish this, get the gold back. And we're going to downsize this all the way down to... Um, 
a s small city, actually. I want to get rid of this building as well. And we should be fine. Because I don't... We This is basically a food production town. And we don't need it to be expending food as we are uh, working our way there. Uh, we're going to clear this spot first for the money before we downgrade this. But that's the project going forward here. Alright. Here in Dong, we're getting Mi Feng on the job. And after he's on the job, we're going to pop the end building up. Beihai, he's ready on the job. See here, it, we're continuing with the... Uh, we're going to do this first. It's going to hurt our public order a little bit, but this completes a mission. I want that boost right away. All right, he's done. Yojo is done. Taishan, Taishan, we're sending in uh, our strategist. Uh, where is she? There she is. So income from all sources, 10% extra commerce. And we have nothing to build here. Liao Xi, we're sending in um, one of our... Oh, she's ready here. What am I talking about? Uh, Long Ya, we're sending in the farmer boy. Xiao Ba. Xiao Ba. There he is. And we need more reforms before we can upgrade this commandery. Um, this one's going for, you know, high population, high amount of peasantry boost. We can even go taller build here. Uh, we can we can probably handle it uh, once we get this uh, reforms to make it even higher tier. Um, that's it. I think we filled all our administrator slots. Very happy with the change. We did the items. Uh, we're changing up Dong Lai. We just have to figure out assignments. Bei Hai, Long Ya, perfect. Lao Si, highest industry producing town. Cheap agricultural buildings, so we can boost pop uh, income in two other slots. Um, let's see. We probably want to boost commerce inside of Dong just because we have the harbor plus the we can do the combo boost someone must have it yep she has it so we get advantages from the industry as well as the commerce here and then we have another open assignment let's see who's making the most money now Lao Si with its really high industry Long Ya with its really high peasantry don't Yobei Ping. We can boost commerce here. Huh. But we don't have someone who's good at that. I mean, we have someone, but they're just unhappy. Hmm. Maybe here. Maybe we'll go with the 800 industry for 30 per, uh, 30%. Yeah, it's a compromise to keep our guys satisfied and we're still gonna try to keep an eye out for any potential you know characters who could replace our guys uh, in any of the commanderies oh we fired her Zhao Yun's ex-wife comes back to us once again after getting utterly dissatisfied well as a general for Lu Zhi well that's what happens when you're disloyal alright did you get any items from Lu Zhi? nope Failed at that, so we're not hiring. Mm, our son is coming of age soon. He's a sentinel. Maybe we'll make him a future administrator. Who knows? And I'm reserving her as uh, Zhuge Liang's wife. Alright. Uh, our armies. We got chased down her army while well, she's still in our territory. Mm, it's probably not worth the fight. 0% chance to capture, though. That's a little weird. It's because she has what? Base escape chance of 37. Well, we're just going to delegate this. Alright, 
Maybe she hit level 3 already. And we captured someone. Great. There's Reach. Perfect. That was a quick level up. Rising Sun. Uh, we're just going to go back. It's a pretty defensible position right there. We did all the buildings. We need to check who we got. We got a new character. Level 1 Scout. Cordial. Greedy. Cowardly. So pretty bad. And we're not really short on assignment characters for commanders. At least we wouldn't keep him. Now do we want to keep him? He's young. He has pretty decent instinct. Alright, we'll keep him, but we don't need to give him an item. Alright, we need her as assignment character. We have so many stone pigs. I don't know why they decided for this DLC that every faction starts out with a stone pig. Hmm, we'll keep her for now. Ooh, very good weapon. Hold on. Yeah, he was out on the field before, but he's not anymore, so... We're gonna take his stuff away from him. Maybe Surin could use this better. It just provides slightly more instinct. I think it doesn't hurt. And let's see. We have an extra spear. He's on the battlefield. There we go. He's on assignment, assignment, assignment. Okay, we're just firing the new guy then. We're keeping everyone else. It's hard to find a good character. There we go. Alrighty. And we're still in this awkward, peaceful mode. We had a slight change in uh, alliances. Oh wait, I thought... I thought Koron joined this alliance. Hmm. It's not showing up as such. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Um, hold on. We need to cancel the clicks because I want to see their attitude towards us. Basically, Yuanshu was the easy target. We just have to count on his happiness. I mean, if he attacks us, the only way he can actually attack us is through here we have a defensive force here once this army marches out we can march march hall here to defend hmm. i think not only should we put a conscription building here we should also put a military infrastructure building here as well we can definitely afford it all right that's a thought um that's it let's continue for now we're gonna pick on yuan shu eventually Alrighty. Shrissi had declared war on the High Empire. Domain respond to protect his vassal. Yeah, get busy fighting the Yellow Turbans, because the Yellow Turbans is pretty strong right now. We got Pang Tong, the fledgling phoenix, the other counterpart to the sleeping dragon. Alright, so we have another strategist to deal with. Another really good strategist. Not complaining. Glad to have them. You don't need this item. I think we've been giving items away too leisurely. What horse is Liu Bei using? Ah, uh, pretty good one. Alright, we'll save the horses for now. We'll re give out these items as we see them needed. So here's our man Pang Tong, the fledgling phoenix. 
15% range damage if he is as one of our leadership roles. He's kind, which is also great as a leadership role. He has a spying trait, but he doesn't have the spying symbol, which is fine. Also makes little sense historically, since his role for the Romance of the Three Kingdom novel is uh, acting as a spy to go towards Cao Cao's camp to give him of the advice to link his ships right before the Battle of Tribute, which happens right around this time in 208. All right, Fan is to her Sun Ce and us, makes sense. He tried to work for Wu, but they didn't like him because they considered him pretty ugly looking. And he joined Liu Bei, who also considered him pretty ugly looking at first. But eventually we found out he was talented. And it doesn't hurt that he had a letter of recommendation from uh, Zhuge Liang, so. We're gonna give him and probably reach. It seems like reach is quite important. Oh, but we want this from the ashes. This is his new, uh, unique ability that gives us um, sacrificing twenty-five percent of our own health to heal every character, other general on the map, uh, infinite range, uh, eight point two k health. So it's really worth because we don't actually have that much health. Okay, so we're going to go dash for that ability. We're going to give him the Jade Horse for extra cunning. Merchant. Some extra expertise. Alright, we're going to throw him into another army. Not that one. Maybe with Ma Chao. We need to raise a force anyway, so... We can do the neighbor trick to see if they get along. Oh, he doesn't get along with Ma Chao. Mm. Maybe we can start a new army with him. Or maybe, yeah, he doesn't want, yeah. That was the only army without a proper strategist. Maybe we can split Ma Chao and Zhang Liao away from each other. Right, this way Zhang Liao goes off with uh, Pang Tong and Ma Chao can go with someone else. Let's do that. Everyone can be a happy camper this way. We finally get a new reform. Since we are going for level 5 industry and commerce build up. We should go for this. This is also super important. Level 5 uh, private workshop, level 5 in, level 5 state workshop. But first we have to go this route to get that. 10% from all sources doesn't hurt. This is also quite nice for our peasantry build, but this is probably more impactful. And I want to get there fast. 10 turns is not a short amount of time. Our spy got promoted to a general. Not bad. Now where are you? I need to see what where did the sheep put you? Okay, not in a dangerous spot. That's good. Um she still need to stack up some more points at this point. We can use uh this point to build that point. Plus six. Not too bad. All right, and she hasn't got hired. She, yeah, not hired yet. Might not get hired, but who knows? That's a good armor. Chang Lin, unbreakable. Incompetence a little bad, but he's young. Well, we want the armor, so there's no debate there. Bandit. Nope. We could keep him because we do need a, another assignment character. Now, who is in the army without. There we go. She's. Lu Fan. One of our most important generals. Zhang Zhao. There we go. Alright, so they both have 
strategist in place. We should have gotten... Uh, I don't know. That reach debate is always a hard one to balance out. They need a front line. Yeah, we kept him for a reason. He's 55. A little old, but that's definitely a front line. They need some horses. We don't have anyone available. Oh, we kept him, but he doesn't get along with Pang Tong. Alright, we'll be on the lookout for a uh, cavalry commander, Vanguard. So right now we're going to give them more defensive role. Ma Chao is going to replace the defensive forces here. He's going to go into Peng Chong for the recruitment because they have the conscription building. Alright, with the reform active, we can get one turn builds on the green buildings. They need to go here too, technically. They also need to recruit some new units. Alright, let's do this. Go through the buildings again. Right, we could technically start upgrading it more it's going to create more population issue but that's fine that's some that's like a cost we're willing to deal with All right we, we're willing to deal with uh more rebellions here we're probably going to go all the way to imperial city here pretty crazy but we're doing it but we're also not interested in moving our capital here because the Emperor seat boost is for commerce and industry, mainly. Right, time to downgrade. And we're getting rid of this building too. Yeah, we don't need it. This is fine right now. Alright. I don't actually think we need to do much. One force to defend the north. One force to defend a potential Liu Chong attack. Actually, they might be better served closer over here. We get to see more river. We also get to see them a little bit better. And over here, I think... I don't know where Yuan Shu might betray us from, or we can start thinking about where we can betray him from. Hmm. I really wish they would have wiped them out. We're gonna cancel this. Yeah, it's not a good sign. Um, the problem is, if we move away, I guess Ma Chao is coming, so we're fine. We'll move away. This is quite a mobile strike force right here. <laughs> Let's give them some more fight before... Um, Huang Zhong here passes away. He's 76. Still going strong. Still going strong. Or we hope. Alright. We're going to declare war on them next turn. We're going to get some more untrustworthy. But it's the same as we wait for it. And I think we are pretty close to knocking it all out. Alright. Let's continue. Oh, come on. Seriously? Cao Cao is our worst nightmare, isn't he? Okay, Yuan Shu is making tons of enemies. Zhao Yun and Sun Ren has a daughter. Congrats, that's quick. They weren't married for that long. Alright. Our spy is returning. Oh, It's her, right? Yeah. That doesn't hurt as much. She just got in pretty deep, so that's good. Hmm, Trinquil is a good trait. 
Alright, we're going to move them over here just so that they can pick up a new force. We're going to also move them over here. They're not only looking for a new force, they're also looking for a new cavalry commander who we don't have yet. He has reach. Yep, perfect. Alright, they're going to be in charge here. I don't see any naval attacks coming yet. We're going to take a look at our potential enemy list before we declare war. I don't think it's going to stop us, but it's nice to know what we're getting ourselves into. Alright, his job is done. Alright, here we're downgrading it again. We're not building anything here. Hopefully it takes the empty slot away when we go down to a small city. Basically we're boosting our food production by reducing this. Because we took away all the building that's not essential to um, food production. We technically could keep it in a city and build something useful like a conscription. That would help with uh, redeployment costs. This was a viable strategy before uh, Mandate of Heaven. Because you wanted this minus 5% redeployment cost uh, to give you free teleportation of all your forces essentially at the end game. But with the new changes to the Imperial Court, once you have the Imperial Court, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 positions that could give you leadership bonuses where you only had 3 before. So if you have flexibility on 4 of the 7 characters, you already have a 100% redeployment cost discount. So you really no longer need to spam conscription building in places where you don't expect to recruit armies. So we're just going to get rid of that slot. Mm, this we're going to continue build up. And Pingyuan, Taishan. Oh, we have T from trade. Who secured T? We didn't have it before. Sun Ce. Sun Ce got his home back, did he? Did he? Yeah, he got Changsha back. Interesting. Okay. Well, we have to sort of maintain our relationship with our in-laws then. Okay. Right, so we wanted to take a look at diplomacy anyways before we start our fight. There we go. Cao Cao just had to butt his head in here. This is going to make Lu Zhi's job really awkward. I don't want to fight him. But if he forces us, we have to. Basically, we're going to wipe him out in one turn. Once once again, we're not going to give him time to respond. What we're going to actually do is we can just yeah strike him next turn. He's not going to have time to cry for help. We're still at war with him. Cao Cao is just annoying when he's the AI. Mato. We'll see if we can get out of some of these wars. Oh, they broke. They broke up. Great. Now we don't have to worry about getting into a war with them. We can just focus down Yuan Shu. Perfect. So get rid of Tao Ying and then we can start fighting Yuan Shu. Excellent. Excellent. Still not willing to sign peace treaties with us. No one wants to be our vassal. No one wants to be joining us. Be that way. Your loss. Mm, they're coming down. We're still going to be hovering here instead of there. Well, actually, bad idea. We need to be close enough to both places. Right. Or else we can't recover back to the city in one turn. That would be a disaster too. Oh, what trait did you pick up? You picked up Tranquil. Party pooper. Now he doesn't work out here. Okay, so maybe Gan Ning will work out down here. Maybe. We can check. Okay. So, we're not going to be too picky with this army. We can actually recruit... Yeah, we don't actually need another cavalry force. This is pure defensive. 
Now, well, we could go somewhere to recruit units at a higher level. It will be too much of a hassle for us. All right, perfect. She has fire arrow access, so we're actually going to just go with the archers here. All right, that army should work out just defending. Don't. And hopefully gunning works well here. That will be just perfect. And uh, we can launch our attack this turn right away. Let's get our buildings all out of the way first. Done, done. Right, so another logic that follows is that even if we build this all the way up to uh, level 5, we're still never going to overcome the immense population public order penalty. So we might as well give up and instead build a corruption reducing uh, state workshop and get a little bit of extra income here as well. So we're going to demolish this. And we're going to station three generals here in the future to pick off uh, any uh, rebels that spawn here. And we're still going to get population growth because three counties, maximum negative 100 po uh, public order is minus 12k uh, each county, so minus 36k. And our population growth right now is plus uh, 63. And if we take away the nigh public order bonus, it's still 54. So we'll overcome uh, any population loss and still continue to grow population here. We just need to find three capable generals. We haven't been able to find any good ones in our pool yet. But they will come. All right, that's it uh, for that build. And that's it for all our builds. Let's go to war. Uh, assuming we can reach them in one turn. We gotta check that before we do anything stupid. Yeah, we can't reach them, so what we're gonna do is... Trespass? We, we don't have to worry about him getting mad at us. Oh, we have to kill this unit too. Or else he can still declare war on us. Right, we're gonna walk as close as we can. This is super obnoxious of us, but what can he do? Alright, hopefully he doesn't run too far away. Alright, we'll fight him next turn. Let's continue. Alright, Yuan Shu form. Oh no! How are we gonna fight him if they're friends? Alright, Sima Yi has come out. Probably Cao Cao's faction. I don't think he joins us. Maybe Cao Cao can't keep him happy and he leaves and then we get to pick him up. That That's a possibility. Alright, let's get into this county. And then we're going to ask the question of Guan Ning. Uh, Gan Ning. Gan Ning. Please. Ah. Well. That's sad. But I guess they don't have to get along to work together. We can have a friendly rivalry where both of them get damage boosts. Alright, so he doesn't need to go for reach. Gunning can go for reach. And we're in the right county, so we're gonna pop these units out. Um, probably crossbow? Just because we have really high cunning. Or we can do E archers. Really want to do onyx dragons, but we don't have that reform. Okay, the ammo is really low. Okay, E archers it is. Alrighty, now we can declare war and wipe him out this turn. That's our main goal for the remainder of this episode. But first, buildings need to be built. Donghai. Donghai is never going to be a big income commander. It might as well reduce uh, corruption in Longya and Guangling and Yangzhou. Right. No, not Yangzhou. Doesn't border Yangzhou. Pengcheng doesn't need reduction. But Guangling and Longya. I mean, we might as well. We don't need it to go pure income. All right, now this can be upgraded. Um, 
This is conversion to T. Right. We forgot about that part. A lot of our commanders can be converted to tea houses. All right, we're going to go down one more. Hopefully it doesn't destroy this building. Conversion to T. It's much more income, but it also means we can't touch Sun Ce, which means we probably can't touch um, Yuan Shu now. Uh, do we want to flip to food selling? Probably not here. We want to sell food in... Um, Langya, because it doesn't have any food production counties, it just has a lumber yard. Flip this. Flip this. Well, uh, just build that tea house. It's ready on the right track. All right, so here we were talking about the state workshop. We're going to do that, and then we're also going to. Uh, we don't have the reform to flip. That's right, no option to flip. Tea house. All right, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy with the defensive positioning. They can both just stay here for a little bit. They can stay here, they can stay here. All right, let's get our war done. Minus three, sure. All right, we're going to attack the army outside. He's probably going to run. I hope he doesn't run, but no promises here. Oh, he ran. That's fine. All right, we're going to show this just because first time seeing Zhuge Liang on the field with this army. We built this army for this. Let's go. Alrighty, our army's loaded up. Our reinforcements coming from over here. Um, I'm assuming they're going to charge out. If they don't, then we'll just move up slowly and cut that part out. We're going to set up all the way back here so our reinforcement army can join in on the fun as well. And we have amazing amount of crossbow units. Not too bad. And Zhuge Liang's buff is um, global, so we don't need to be standing anywhere. Obey will be standing in the front. And let's see. Yeah, we don't need to do any more setup. This is good. We just need to throw some spikes maybe here. Throw some fire here. Let's go. Please come out. Please don't stand inside. Perfect. All right, going to get your man up here in the front. Cavalry right off to the side. We have more archers coming. Well, maybe just arc your shot behind the tribuches. Huang Zhou needs to be standing in the middle to buff as many units as he can. His swift finger is uh, quite a tight radius here. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu can go up. And we're just going to watch them charge our army here. Showcase our firepower. Once they get into crossbow range, we'll activate this for extra 50% damage. Um, our damage is already quite boosted by his fan, uh, but it's going to go up even more. 65 armor piercing right now, 30 base. Uh, usually it should be 50, so we're already getting a 30% boost. And if we get another 50 on top of that, we should be getting another 25. Um, be just amazing. All right, our armies getting in place. Our spearmen are getting in place. All right, everyone's ready to go. We'll just watch from here. Hopefully, they can get closer. 
I really want to activate this. Even our E-Archers, their base damage is 40, so we get another 20 points there. And another 11 points on the uh, armor piercing damage. Please keep charging. Don't be shy. They're shell-shocked. I mean, I understand, but be brave, be brave. You already came out of the little fort. Don't make us walk towards you. Uh, if we just win this with tribuches, it's it'd be disappointing. They need to get to here. They're just not moving. Come on, guys. Nothing? What if I tempt you with Guan Yu? Charge at me. Charge at me. We got someone. Nope. Alright, we're moving forward with our... Uh, we'll add these guys into our second corp. We're just going to move our second corp up to here. And so we can activate Drugadown's ability. Come up, come up and fight us. Don't be shy. Well, the general's going to die. Right. We're just gonna click it. There's a. He'll come back off cooldown. 88. Wait, we got boosted by how much more? 33 more? So it's, it's not off the base value, it's off whatever value it was at. Ooh, that's impressive. That's even better. Alright, we're gonna kill generals with arrows. Because that's how extra we are with this army. Watch him die in one volley. Will he survive? Well, he's, he moved, so he survived. But, nope, that's it. Anyone else? Want to have a piece? Uh, we're going to get shot by the... Yeah, we're gonna get shot by the arrow towers. Uh, we already lost a guy. No, our clean fight. Can we just move up, kill those guys, so we can win this fight? Ah, we lost a guy. That was not bad. Pretty good show of force. Alright, the tribuche is in position. Hit them. There we go. That's our win. I like this army. Look at how much firepower we have. Too bad Huang Zhong as a sentinel can't recruit crossbow or else it would be even more perfect. Alrighty. We lost two men. I guess it's both E archers. Yan Yu. We don't need strategists all of a sudden. All of a sudden we have so many strategists. Nice level up. Wonder who? They're level 667? 777. What a good number. Um. This is probably better. Our duelist doesn't actually need help. They retreated once. So we're actually going to move them here just for the patience. That's non existent on any of them. But they can leech some experience. And this will just be a delicate fight.
Alright, doesn't matter if they have men left. They retreat it so they get destroyed. Right. Faction destroyed. Another member of the alliance picked off before they could ask for help. Alright, Mifong can get his uh, industry boost finally. He's uh, going to be a great administrator in Dong. Alright, so I love this combination army here. Uh, what I don't love is the fact that we have a new relationship, a new alliance here. Why do they have to do this? Why do they have to be together? I thought it was so great when Yuan Shu broke up with Liu Chong, but now he's with Sun Ce, who already don't like us. He has our tea resource. The second he goes to war with us, we lose so much. Hmm. Honestly, we should have offered him an alliance before Yuan Shu jumped in. Yeah, it could have worked. But it's too late now. We can't get it. We can't get that back. So everyone's in alliance, except for us. Us and Liu Chong. Maybe they're willing to... We can push for this. If we really wanted to. But we can't defend these territories out west. Right, the second we grab these, we're going to lose them. The yellow turbans rampant over here, by the way. There's so many yellow turbans on the map. We could... We don't... I don't really like their territory that much. It'd just be another peasantry headache. And we'd be surrounded by Yuan Shu from more front. So it's probably better if we could... Vassalize? Or... We can try our hand at a coalition. Wow. We can buy these. These are good. Okay. We can buy it with garbage like this. Uh, one at a time. Too expensive if we buy it together. And how would you like 5,000? You would like more? Greedy. But acceptable. So we'll get into a coalition with them. That way we have one friend who is not at war with anyone, so he's not going to drag us into any bad situations. We basically prevented them from joining any other alliance and coalition since everyone has an alliance or coalition. Oh, I just noticed. They're a coalition. The naming makes no sense. Coalition of the Yellow River? They're on the Yangtze River. What do they have to do with the Yellow River? So coalition means he doesn't have to go to war together. Can't ask for alliance war. They could break off if they disagree. So that's good. Uh, we're not done with you guys. We want this too. We will pay for that as well. 1,000. Well, that's not anywhere close. Robbing us poor. Oh, I could have given him food. How do you not have food? You have the farmland. Over over construction is a sin too. Peace. Right, no one's gonna get vassalized because everyone's in alliance or coalition. Alright, we have a friend. We finally have a friend. Everything blue is our coalition member. They have oh, they have the weapon craftsman, that's why they have so many good weapons with no generals to use it. Well, we're going to equip some of our generals real quick. 
Hmm. Better off with this weapon. Fits you better. Alright, if you're going to be on the battlefield, then we're going to give you good stuff. I'm tempted to make this swap. I mean, it's not like the D is really good. Is the D is really good for administrators? Uh, not if they have a sword, because that's plus twelve. But for those who don't have a sword, plus nine is quite good. Like say him. Uh, but the thing is, Pingman is not building up. So Liao Xi is also not building up. Yu Bei Ping is building up. Ah, but she has a good one. All right, guess we won't rob Zhang Liao of his weapon. Of his stronger weapon. Okay. That's a good weapon. That's a good weapon. That's a decent weapon. That's a great weapon. Yeah, we have all the legendary stuff, so... That helps. Here, take that. You don't need it, but you have it. Doesn't hurt. You don't need it, but you also have it. These are Burin officers with excellent weapons. <laughs> Poor Gan Ning over here. Okay, we have a few bronze ones to spare, but we don't need to give it to anyone who's not on the field. So that's good. We got all silver weapons on everyone who's on the battlefield. Uh, we finished off another faction. We have three assignment open. So... Beihai needs peasantry boost. Dong Pingyuan. Okay. So we have another. Do we need any green build up? No, we actually don't. What we need is just income boost, I think. 3.5. Not so shabby for a peasantry commandery. Alright, this one's picked up its pace too. Alright, Liao Xi. Let's see. You're up. It's 270 extra. Uh, we have someone here. Alright, we need a strategist. Unhappy, well, too bad. Well, unless we, we can check we can check Taiyuan for Taishan for you. Unhappy at both. Well, what do you know? It's 330 of both. So we're gonna it doesn't really matter then. Alright. We can convert this after we finish the build up. I think all of them are converted. Yep. But once Sun Tzu goes to war with us, that's all over, so that's kind of sad. Let's continue. Okay, so the first thing they do after we get a coalition is they want us to fight against the Yellow Turbans. Not the end of the world. Uh, we can get some of our money back that we just gave them. Perhaps in per turn payment? Perfect. That's 5,000 back. Let's do 445. 425, 428, 430. There we go. We'll do that. That's half of the money we gave them. Yeah, who cares? We're untrustworthy Liu Bei. All right, joint war. All right, so. All right, no one's super important here. We're going to end our episode here. Uh, this one ran a little long. We started with quite a bit of administrative. Uh, things to take care of, but I'm quite happy where we are. Um, very happy with our administrator assignments. Very happy where where all the administrator, uh, all the commanderies are being built and where direction they're going for. Our economy is very healthy. Um, part of that is thanks to the tea house that uh, Sun Tzu has, since we're trading with him. Very unhappy about the diplomatic development between Yuan Shu and Sun Tzu. We got ourselves our first friend. Um, let's hope they stay that way. We can try the same alliance pickup trick. Like we're picking off alliance members real quick in one turn. 
We can do the same thing against Yuan Shao because he only has one territory. The only problem is I'm not interested in his territory, so that's the issue. Other than that, um, having an alliance member, also a uh, coalition member, also give us some extra vision. So, for example, we can see Ma Teng's armies. One, two, is coming for us. Slowly, but surely. Um, over here, we have our own vision. Cao Cao is still at war with us. Cao Long is marching his force over. We'll be ready to face him. He's in for a big surprise to run into our main force here. So we're going to pick things up uh, next episode as we continue to seek ways to expand. Uh, we're still waiting for a lot of our reforms. Um, everyone's still relatively young. Liu Bei is just 40 something. Uh, the only person who's at risk of dying is Huang Zhong. Uh, we might start picking um, either a strategist, probably a strategist to replace his retinue after he dies. And then we're going to replace him with just crossbowmen. We're going to miss his swift fingers, but um, it's not too effective. Um, it's broken. I think this, it's bugged. It shouldn't be, you know, goes to max attack rate, uh, but it's, it's nice to have. And that's it. See you guys next time. Bye.